Previously, we saw that we may use the second derivative to determine whether a function is convex, concave, or both. However, um, it only works if we have only one variable in our function, let's say f x, and only x is the variable in the function. Now, uh, if we have more than one variable in our function, then we may, we may need to use the Haitian matrix and principal minors to determine whether a function is convex or concave. If we have a function of n variables, then the Haitian matrix is a n by n matrix. And the ij entry of this matrix is the second derivative of the function with respect to the variable xi and xj. Okay, so um, if the ij entry in i equals j, for example, the uh, entry of row 1, column 1, it means that we take the second derivative of this function with respect to x1 and x1 again. Okay, so um, it means that we're taking the second derivative with respect to x1. But if it if we talk about, let's say, the first row, the third column, so i equals 1, j equals 3, it means that we are taking the second derivative of this function with respect to x1 and then with respect to x3. Okay, so that's the Haitian matrix. The i-th principal minor of an n by n matrix is the determinant of any i by i matrix, which we obtain by deleting n minus i row, row and the corresponding n minus i column of the matrix. So let's say if we want to have a first principal minor, then what we need to do is delete n minus i row and the corresponding n minus i column of the matrix, and then solve for the determinant. For the second principal minor, same procedure, we delete n minus 2 row and the corresponding n minus 2 columns such that we are left with i by i matrix and then we solve the determinant and then we obtain the ith principal minor. We also have the kth leading principal minor uh, which is the determinant of the k by k matrix obtained by deleting the last n minus k rows. So the keyword here is the word last. You see that in the principal minor, uh, it doesn't say anything about which row, which columns. It says just delete the rows and the corresponding columns. But here it says we need to delete the last n minus k rows and the columns of the matrix. So if this definition seems a bit abstract, we are going to apply this definition to an example and hopefully it will make everything clear. So for example, here's our function. We have two variables, x1 and x2. So first we create the Haitian matrix of this uh, function. This is the Haitian matrix. So 6x1 is the derivative of this function with respect to x1 and then x1 again. This 2 is the derivative of this function with respect to x1 and then we take the derivative again with respect to x2. So uh, the derivative of this function with respect to x1 is 3x1 squared 3x1 squared and then plus 2x2. That is the first derivative of this function with respect to x1. And then here we take the derivative again with respect to x2. So uh, we only get this 2 here. Okay, so let me repeat. First, take the derivative of the function with respect to x1. And then take the derivative again with respect to x2 because we want to get the value of the element row 1, column 2 in the matrix, okay? And this 2 comes from taking the derivative of the function with respect to x2. So we get 2x1 plus uh, 2x2, right? And then we take the derivative again 
with respect to x1, which is only 2, the result. Okay, so that's how you create the Haitian matrix. And then finally for this 2, you take the derivative of the function with respect to x2, and then take the derivative again with respect to 2 again. Okay, so that is the Haitian matrix. Now for the principal minors, let's um, look at another example. Uh, I know this is a bit confusing, but the textbook provides another example for uh, talking about the principal minors. So suppose we have a Haitian that looks like this. The first principal minor is obtained from deleting the matrix. The first principal minor, which means we delete um, 2 minus 1 row, which means we delete 1 row because n equals 2. And then we want to get the first principal minor, e equal, i equals 1. So what we delete is 2 minus 1. So we delete one row and one corresponding column. So let's say we delete the first um, the first row and the first column. So imagine you delete the first row and the first column. So we are only left with this minus 4. So minus 4 is the first one of the first principal minors. And then we delete, let's say, the second row. Let me change the color. We delete the second row and the second column. So we are left with this minus 2. So that is another principal minor. So the first principal minors are minus 2 and minus 4. And then for the second principal minor, we have n equals 2. Second principal minor means i equals 2. 2 minus 2 means 0. So we delete 0 row and 0 column. It means that we just take the determinant for the entire Haitian, and then we get um, this value, 7. Okay. Now, let's talk about the leading principal minor. The leading principal minor means from the Haitian, we, uh, let's say for the first leading principal minor, k equals 1, we delete the last n minus k. So n equals 2, k equals 1. So we delete the one last uh, row and one last column. That's why if, we, if you delete the the last row means the second row and the second column here. We are left with only this value, x1. So the first leading principal minor equals 6x1. For the second leading principal minor, k equals 2, means we delete 2 minus 2 equals, we delete 0 of the last row and column, which means we delete nothing. You just... Um, Calculate the determinant of the entire Haitian, and then you get the second leading principal minor equals 12x1, 6x1 times 2, minus 2 times 2 equals 4, so 12x1 minus 4. That is the second leading principal minor. So that's how we calculate the Haitian principal minor, first and second, and also the leading principal minor. Once we know how to create the Haitian and the principal minors, we may use them to determine whether a function is convex or concave. So if all principal minors of the Haitian are non-negative, it means the function is a convex function. For a concave function, the requirements is a bit more complicated. It says that all non-zero principal minors have the same sign as minus 1 to the power of k, then it means the function is a concave function. Let's see an example here. We are asked to show that this function is a convex function. So remember, according to theorem 3, uh, we need to check if all the principal minors of the Haitian are non-negative to confirm that, that this function is a convex function. So first, let's create the Haitian matrix, and this is uh, the Haitian matrix here. 
And then next for the first principal minors, we delete n minus one row and column from the matrix. Let's say we first delete the first row and the first column. So the remaining value is this. Two, the determinant of a number is just that number. So that's uh, one of the principal minor. And then we delete the second row and the second column. We are left with this value two. So that's the second principal minor. And then for the second principal, sorry, that was the second first principal minor. I know it sounds a bit confusing, but we have two principal minors. For the second principal minor, we delete n minus two rows. Because n equals two, we have two variables. It means that we delete no rows and no column. So calculate the entire uh, the determinant of this entire matrix. We got um, zero. And then since all principal minors, both first and second, they are all non-negative, it means that according to theorem three, this function is a convex function. Next, we are asked to show that this function is a concave function. And we look at the theorem three prime, and this is the requirements for a convex function. All non-zero principal minors have the same sign as minus one to the power of K. So again, we need to find the Hessian and then check the principal minors. So first calculate the Hessian matrix. And then for the first principal minor, um, if we delete the first row and the first column, we have this value here, minus four. And then we delete the second row and second column. We are left with this value here, minus two. So those are the first principal minors. Uh, both are negative, so they have the same sign with minus one to the power of k. For the first principal minor, the value of k is one. So minus one to the power of k is minus one. They have the same sign, which means they are negative. For the second principal minor, remember we delete nothing and calculate the determinant. We obtain the determinant is seven minus two times minus four, minus minus one times minus one equals seven. Uh, the sign is positive, which uh, means it has the same sign with minus one to the power of uh, K. K here equals two because we're talking about the second principal minor. So it means that all principal minors have the same sign with minus one to the power of K. It fulfills the requirements of theorem three prime, which means this function is a concave function. Now another example is a function which is not convex and not concave, which means that it will not fulfill the requirements on theorem three. It will also not fulfill the requirements of theorem four. So same as before, we start with calculating the Hessian matrix. And then we see the first principal minors are positive, but the second principal minor is negative. It cannot be convex because there is a negative principal minor. Remember that for a convex function, all principal minors must be non-negative. Okay, so it cannot be convex. But this is not concave either because the first principal minor, which means k equals one, they do not have the same sign with minus one to the power of k. Minus one to the power of k with k equals one is minus one or negative. But here you see that the first principal minors, they are both positive. So it doesn't fulfill the requirements for a concave function, which means that this function is not convex, but it is also not concave. So we have a function with three variables and we are asked to show that this is a convex function. Everything is still the same. Actually, we still need to show that all principal minors are non-negative, but we will have a little bit more calculation because we will have three principal minors. So first calculate the Haitian matrix. And then the entry is, uh, for example, this minus one means the derivative of this function with respect to x1 and then take the derivative again with respect to x2 and then let's say um, the minus one here is the derivative of the function with respect to x3 because um, 
in the third row and then take the derivative again with respect to x2 because it is uh, in the second column and this one was um, take the derivative with respect to x1 and then take the derivative again with respect to x2 okay so um, same as before you just need to check uh, the position of the entry and then take the derivative with i G, xi and then xj okay uh, the first principle minors means that because we have um, three variables here so n equals three so the, for the first principle minor we need to delete three minus one which means two equal two rows at a time so let's say uh, we delete the first and the second row the first and the second column so we are left with this four Okay, and then do the same thing with the other row and columns, and we have the first principle minors equals 2, 2, and 4. Second principle minors, uh, which means that each time we are going to delete one row and one column. Okay, suppose uh, we delete the first row and the first column, and then we solve the determinant of the remaining, and then we delete the second row and the second column, and again we solve the determinant of the remaining and here we delete the third row and third column and then solve the determinant of the remaining for the third principle minor we delete three minus three we delete zero rows and zero column means we delete nothing so calculate the entire uh, determinant of the three by three matrix okay so um, this 2 is here, 2 and then um, times the determinant. And then you take um, minus 1 here, minus 1, and then don't forget the sign is also minus. So minus, minus 1, and then take the determinant for the remaining this and that. And then finally, um, you use this minus one but the sign in front of it is plus and then take the uh, determinant of this thing in front if it looks confusing for you then you need to um, review the how to do the how to calculate the determinant of three by three matrix okay it's not that complicated trust me okay so once you have done uh, the calculation of all the principal minors, you can see that all principal minors are non-negative. So it fulfills the theorem three, which means that this function is a convex function. Okay, so that's how we are using the Hessian matrix and the principal minors to show whether a function is convex, concave or not any of them.